Now, whenever we are typing a key, an additional request is made. So if we do something like blah, 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 we are making a ton of requests to the server. Let's imagine we are working on a car service app where we need to have some kind of form to create new jobs for the cars coming to our service. Some fields we might need are the client name, car, and description. In addition to that, we'll need to keep a record of the mechanic who worked on the car and the consultant who handled the paperwork for the job. These last two fields, the mechanic and consultant, will be our searchable select fields. As you can see, I've already added the basic fields using the existing Jetstream form components. For our searchable field, we'll need to install a package called view multiselect. So let's grab it from here and run it. Now that it's installed, we'll need to import it. So we'll do import multiselect from view multiselect. And also make sure to import the styles for this in our app CSS file. So we'll do import and then we'll go up to directories, node modules, view multiselect, this view multiselect.min.css. And now we can go back and continue with the form. So we need to add two additional fields called mechanic ID and consultant ID. And now to use the multi select, let's copy this and replace the text area with multi select. And we'll add the ID mechanic ID placeholder search mechanic. Now we need to pass our list of options and tell it what property to use as a display label. So we'll do options and here we'll have mechanics and label which will be name. And since mechanics will be an array, we'll need to set an unique value for the track by, which will be ID. This value will be used to identify each option in our list. Next up, view multiselect emits a couple of useful events. One of those is search change. And this is emitted whenever the user types in the select box. So when that happens, we'll make an inertia request to update the mechanics array. Let's call this on search mechanics change. Another useful event is input, and that is triggered whenever the user selects an option. We can use this event to set the mechanic ID in our form. So let's call on selected mechanic. And here is mechanics. Okay, let's continue with defining each of these three. So mechanics will be a prop coming from the server. So we'll have props, mechanics, which will be of type array, and we'll have a default value of an empty array. And we can do that by adding a function that returns an empty array. Next up is on search mechanics change and on selected mechanic. These two will be methods. So we'll add methods. And let's just call a console log. So we'll do console.log and same here. And if we check this in the browser, it should work. And here it is, but the list is empty. Let's go ahead and provide this mechanics prop from the controller. So I'll go inside jobs controller and return mechanics which is user where type mechanic. And we'll add a limit of 15 and call the get method. 
Go back and refresh. Now we receive six mechanics. And here is the list. And it is searchable, but it only searches those six mechanics. If I go inside my cedar and increase the user count to, let's say, 100, and refresh the migrations, refresh here, log in. Now we have 15 mechanics, and whenever we search this list, it will only return results from those 15. What we need to do is to make a call to the server and get an updated list of mechanics. So let's do just that. Let's go to create job. And here the on search mechanics change receives the term entered in the search box. And here we need to make an inertia request, specifically a get request to job slash create, and we'll pass in the term as a query parameter. And we can also write it like this. Now to make sure this request doesn't clear our local state, we need to pass in the preserve state option as true. And also the preserve scroll so the page maintains its scroll position. And also replace true. The reason we want replace true is, let me show in the browser. But first, let's remove this option. Refresh. And now whenever I search or make a new request to the server, that request is added to the history, which means that if I click back now, I will basically go back with each key press. And we don't want that. We want this request to replace the existing one in the browser history. So that's why we are using replace true. Let's continue our work in the jobs controller by making the query filter the results based on the term we pass in. So we can do that with when we have request of term, then we need to apply these conditions. So we'll have builder or query. And the second argument will be this value right here. So we can call it term. And here we need to apply the conditions. So query where name like, and here we need to add term. And let's go in the browser and test this out. So refresh, and then we search. Let's check the requests to make sure they are going through. And here they are. Check the props, no mechanics, which is correct. Let's go back in our create job page component and take care of the unselected mechanic event. So whenever that happens, we receive a mechanic and we need to set the this.form.mechanic ID equals to mechanic.id. If we go back in the browser, refresh, check our create job form. Here is our mechanic ID. Let's select a mechanic and now it's 12. Okay, that works, but somehow our select is empty. Whenever we select one item, we should still see it here. To do that, we need to set a V model but that V model cannot be our form mechanic ID because that needs to be an integer, but the model for the multi-select needs to be an object from the options. So we need V model mechanic or selected mechanic. And this needs to be in our data. And now if we go back, refresh, and select a mechanic, here it is. Before we wrap up this video, one final problem we need to address is the number of requests we're making. Now whenever we are typing a key, 
an additional request is made. So if we do something like blah, 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 we are making a ton of requests to the server. We should debounce or throttle these requests. So we can do that with low dash since it comes with the default larval. So we can import throttle from low dash. And then to use it, we need to go to our method here and change it with throttle that will receive a function with the term. And here we'll call our inertia get request and let's say a 200 millisecond delay. Save, refresh, and now we are still making quite a lot of requests, but not as many as we did before. We can increase this limit to 300, refresh, and this is decent. Now that we are done, let's do the same for the consultant. So we'll go up, copy and paste this field, and let's also update these properties with mechanic ID, mechanic, and search mechanic is okay. Same here with consultant ID and consultant search consultant and we'll have selected consultant consultants on search consultants change and on selected consultant Okay, now let's add a consultant's prop and then a selected consultant. Duplicate these two methods. Go in the jobs controller and return consultants. Refresh the browser. And here is our field. We have Lionel and let's say Kessler. And that's it. That's how you can create a searchable select using Inertia and View Multiselect. Subscribe, click the bell button. Bye.